Hello. Um, today I have something pretty exciting. I've been asked a few times about this and one of my subscribers, um, M West or Westby, um, I'll put his Twitch in the description below. He actually pushed me towards this, um, driver, I guess so I could call it. It's not really an application called black hole. Um, this is so that you can stream internal audio from your Mac to something like Twitch. Um, I think it's like a Mac permissions thing that you can't do that by default, where it's like if you wanted to stream, you know, reactions to videos or play music from your computer itself, then you can't add that audio as a source in something like OBS. Um, but this allows you to do it. So I set mine up yesterday, works amazingly. So I'm just gonna make this quick video about this. Um, this is kind of a part one of part of two parts videos that things that I've been trying to work on using a Mac system trying to get around some hurdles. So this is the first thing. Um, first thing you're going to do is come to this link here to this GitHub. I'm going to have the link in the description as well to make it easy for you. Uh, the, like I said, the package uh, is called black hole. So you're going to come here. Um, if you want to read some of this, it might help you depending on what you're using it for. So if you go through, it shows um, specifically for logic, GarageBand, Reaper, if you're doing something with the DAW, something like that. But for my purposes, all I really wanted was to be able to take the sound that the Mac would be playing out of speakers and be able to stream it. Um, that seems to be a lot of people's issues right now. And that's as simple as this is going to be. If you want to go further, this website is pretty informative. You can just kind of look it up and or read through it and see, see what you need. So what you're going to do is you're going to install it. Um, it's not an application, like I said, so you're not going to be able to find it after. It's just going to be like package contents within your system. So if you look through, um, when you, there's a few ways to install it, click here. Um, you can just run the package and then that's it. That's it installed. Or I think you can, uh, let me see what it says actually. Yeah. So you have to sign up and then you go through an email link. Um, anyway, that, that part's really straightforward. So once you have it, it shows you here what you're going to do. Um, I have the two channel version, not the 16. Uh, we just need the two. So basically once that's installed, you're going to open your audio MIDI setup. This comes default on your Mac OS, just hit a spotlight search and find it or go through your applications and find it. And then what you're going to do is you're going to go down to this plus button and create a multi output device, which is going to make this here for you. Uh, you're going to switch the master device to black hole two channel. So yeah, what this does is it combines audio sources uh, to output to multiple things. So on mine, I know you could probably do the speakers, but when I had my speakers checked off, um, it gave me some feedback because it was playing out of the Mac mini and then my microphone was picking it up and then it was playing out of the Mac mini and then my micro, and then it started to like build this, this crackling feedbacky kind of thing. So I have that off. Um, you have black hole checked and then wherever you want it out of. So my, Steel Series headset are no longer plugged into my PlayStation. They're plugged into the computer. Part two of the video is gonna explain why. This is just to get the streaming, the audio part sorted out. So I have these two checked off. Everything but black hole, you'll need drift correction checked as well. What that does is it just syncs the audio. Um, and so if there's any sort of latency between devices that are, um, like speakers or anything like that, it, it will sync the audio that way. So you'll need that, that everything but the black hole uh, on drift correction. So now that this part's done, you're gonna go into your OBS, uh, probably the same on Streamlabs or anything else that you can add a source. I use OBS, just plain old OBS. So don't mind the screen, it's gonna get that crazy effect now. But so now that we're in OBS, this is where my scene that I've just made just to make this video, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and add an audio output capture. And I already have it set up for my gaming setup, but I'm going to just show you um, internal audio. Okay. And you choose black hole as the, as the device. And then what you're going to see here is you have an internal audio uh, metering right there. So to show you what it does, if I go to my Epidemic Sound account.
So now we know audio is playing. You can hear my headset, I turn, turn it down. If you come here, you can see that it's reading. So you might be even able to hear it right now. Um, so pull that back a bit. So it's pulling the audio that the computer is outputting and is putting it in OBS as a source. So now you can stream it. So you can stream music, you can react to videos, you can do whatever you would do normally um, that people on PC do that you feel like you're struggling with on Mac because it just doesn't allow you to, to stream its internal audio. This is what this does. Okay, let me go stop this. Um, so anyway, like I said, this is just short and sweet just to get this out there. This was extremely helpful. Thank you, M West, Westby, whatever you want to go by. Um, really, really appreciate your help on this one. He was nice enough to send me a screenshot of his setup, everything like that. So like I said, his Twitch will be below. He has answered a lot of questions for me. I've answered some questions for him. So he's a, he's a good resource to check into, pop into his stream, ask him some questions. Um, I'm a little lazier when it comes to the back end stuff. I just want to get on and, and stream. So he's, he's great. Um, so I'm going to leave everything that you need below. My next video I'm about to record is to use Mac and PlayStation to get discord and gaming audio all in one place. So that's my next video. I'm just about to do it. I didn't want to make it one video because then the title would just be like ridiculous. Um, so this is part one of two, like this video, share this video. If you're using a Mac, this is a must. If you want to stream audio from the computer and again, thank you. I'm West and everything's going to be down below. We'll see you in the next one.